Hello, guys. Um, I hope uh, you have uh, downloaded this packet uh, from Google Classroom. Uh, print it out also. It will help you. We're going to use some of the problems in this packet uh, for more examples. And uh, we can also use some of the problems for your paper and pencil uh, assignment. As you can see, our lesson today is about uh, geometric mean, and it's chapter 8, section 1 of your uh, textbook. Geometric mean. That doesn't sound like arithmetic mean, right? Let me take you back to what you have done uh, in the past. Uh, I'm sure you still remember arithmetic mean. Uh, another term for arithmetic, arithmetic mean is just average. Uh, say, for example, we're given two numbers, 20 and 30, and uh, we are interested in the arithmetic mean or average of those two numbers. All we need to do is just add the two numbers and then divide by, since there are two of them, we're just going to divide by 2. And 20 plus 30 is equal to 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Uh, therefore, the answer is uh, 25. So what is 25 then? 25 is the arithmetic mean or average of the given numbers 20 and uh, 30. That's arithmetic mean. Uh, the reason why I brought this one up is because um, I don't want you to confuse uh, geometric mean with arithmetic mean. Actually, in mathematics, there are many different kinds of mean, uh, means. Uh, arithmetic mean was just the first one of them. Uh, and then the second one is geometric mean, uh, which is being introduced to you for the very first time. Uh, later on, you're going to have uh, something called harmonic mean. Don't freak out. This is easy. Uh, some of my UIL math students have, have seen harmonic mean already. Uh, and uh, but today's lesson is uh, mainly about uh, geometric mean. So if you're ready, I'm going to explain uh, geometric mean now. Uh, say we're given the same numbers, 20 and 30, and uh, we are interested in the geometric mean of those two numbers. Let me write them down here, 20 and uh, 30. So to find the geometric mean, listen to this, to find the geometric mean, all we have to do is multiply the two numbers. Yeah, you heard it. Here for the arithmetic mean, you have to add, but for geometric mean, you have to multiply. So 20 times 30, uh, and then you take the square root of that. Yep. Well, 20 times 30, is equal to 600, right? 2 times 3 is 6, and we have a couple of zeros. So we have a square root of 600. And just like in the past, uh, whenever we're, we have a radical for our uh, answer, uh, we need to try to simplify. Uh, and 600, and this is square root, uh, this is the same thing as square root of 100 times 6, right? and 100 is a perfect square, so we can simplify our answer as 10 square root of 6. Uh, if this quantity is equal to x, then we can write x equal 2, x equal 2, x equal 2, and this is our uh, final answer. Now, what does this answer mean again? 10 square root of 6 is the geometric mean of the two numbers 20 and 30. Easy, right? Let's take a look at uh, example letter A in, in your packet. In example letter A, you were given 12 and 3. Those are the two numbers given to you in example A, and your job is to find uh, the geometric mean between 12 and 3. So solution, write x, 
uh, equal to the square root of 12 times 3. So we multiply the two numbers we're, we're given and then take the square root of that. 12 times 3 is equal to 36. So we have a square root of 36. And square root of 36 happens to be a um, constant. So the correct answer is equal to 6. Well, in the past, uh, we've talked about having positive and negative uh, values for a square root. Uh, but for the geometric mean, we're only interested in the positive component of the answer. So uh, here, 6 is the geometric mean between the numbers 12 and 3. This is example A in your packet. Let's look at example B in your packet. In example B, uh, the given numbers are 8 and 4. And uh, to find the geometric mean of, uh, between those two numbers, we write x or whatever variable you're, you fancy. Uh, x is equal to the square root of 8 times 4. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. And just like any uh, radical expression, we, uh, we try to simplify. This is square root. So we're looking for uh, a perfect square factor of 32, and that happens to be uh, 16, right? 16 times 2 is equal to 32. Is that correct? Yes, right. And 16, the square root of 16 is equal to 4. Therefore, the answer is 4 square root of 2. And uh, to summarize, 4 square root of 2 is the geometric mean uh, between 8 and 4. Any questions so far? Let's generalize. Let's come up with a formula. So say we're given two positive numbers, A and B. Right. So A and B are any two uh, positive uh, numbers, and we're interested in the geometric mean. So the geometric mean of A and B, or the geometric mean between A and B, would just be the square root of A times B. And if we use x uh, to represent our geometric mean, then x is equal to the square root of A uh, times B. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the formula for geometric mean. Uh, but before, I uh, end this uh, video, I'm just going to give you an idea. If you square the x, you will get x squared, right? And what do you think is going to happen if I square this part that has a square root? We're going to eliminate the square root sign, right? And that would give us a times b. Ladies and gentlemen, this equate this formula here and this formula over here are one and the same. They are equivalent. And if you remember the three formulas I gave you uh, on Google Classroom last week, doesn't this one look familiar? Ladies and gentlemen, this is geometric mean.